Hello Booktube, Sarah here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a, what I'm going to call a hot chocolate and a chat. <laughs> I stopped on my way home from work tonight and I picked up a um, peppermint white hot chocolate from Starbucks. You can get it as a mocha, but it is already 8 o'clock on Friday night, so having a mocha right now might not be the best idea because it means I probably won't be sleeping tonight. <laughs> So we're going to go with a hot chocolate. Um, chocolate doesn't do the same thing to me as caffeine does with keeping me awake. So, um, But anyway, like I said, this is just going to be a little chat video. Nothing too terribly exciting. There are three things that I definitely want to address in this video. Um, and they're very random topics, but I thought it would just be a lot easier to put them all together in one. So grab a beverage of your choice and sit down and let's have a little chat. I have no idea how long this is going to be. You guys know how much I like to talk but I will try my best to rein myself in. So first of all, I want to talk about is Vlogmas. I'm waving the white flag. Um, I have decided to stop doing Vlogmas for this year. Um, I did this to myself last year too. It's a lot of pressure I put on myself. Nobody asks me to do it. I completely do this myself. And I, I decided this week, it's been a really tough week at work. Um, I do US customer service for the entire, like. I'm in Canada, but I do customer service for the U.S. market, so let's put it that way. Handling the entirety of the U.S. are three of us, and we all have, like, our territories. Mine is actually, like, the Mississippi River and over um, to the West Coast, like, including Hawaii and Alaska is, like, my territory. Seems like a big area, but we don't have as many reps scattered around that area. You know, and then there's, like, the Northeast and stuff like that, and then the south Southeast and stuff. But anyway, there are, like I said, three of us who do this market. One of us, um, one of uh, my coworkers, was on vacation this week. Absolutely entitled to it. He needed a vacation. He had vacation time still to use this year. And, you know, I'm not begrudging him taking his vacation, believe me. Um, but you take three and you minus one. Um, it's a lot to put on two people for an entire week. And I've been tired. I've been stressed. I've been extremely stressed out at work. Um, you know, like... Uh, it's just not been a good week. And then I started thinking about Vlogmas and the fact that on Saturday, like my, you know, I was going to have to sit down and literally I would be shooting eight videos because um, I do the seven for the week because I bulk film. Plus I do my knitting podcasts, which, you know, and they're not <clears throat> simple videos. I, I don't know why I do this to myself. I don't know why I did this to myself last year too. These aren't simple little like, and I'm not saying they're simple, but it's not like I know Elizabeth from Lizzie Fay Loves Books and Jen from Today is in Jen's Library are both doing like an advent thing where they're like unwrapping books or something like that. Like, I wish it was just that turn on the camera, sit down, do that, and then turn off the camera, you know, make it that easy. But of course, I don't do that to myself. I do tags, I do discussions, I do all these other things. And it's, you know, I just decided it's too much. I want to enjoy my December and I don't want to feel pressure and stress. Um, I'm going to try my best to think of something for next year, something really quick and easy, like a bookish kind of advent that I can do every day, I think would be a lot of fun, along with my regular videos. So keep in mind, I am still going to be doing my regular videos this month. Um, sorry, <laughs> um, I'm going to be doing my, um, um, my usual Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturday um, videos, so that's not going to change, um, and it just takes the pressure off. The other thing that I found too was when I was looking at my list of videos that I was going to be doing, a lot of them were what I call filler videos. You know, like tags that I wouldn't necessarily want to do, but I thought, oh, maybe I should do them because they're holiday themed and, you know, they kind of fit into the, you know, I wasn't tagged in them, but I'm going to do them anyway because they look like fun. Or discussion videos that, you know, I didn't really have a lot to talk about, but I thought, you know, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, needless to say, sorry guys, two years in a row I failed at Vlogmas. Yay me! Um... <laughs> <laughs> but again, I did this myself. No one asked me to do this. I did it all myself, so I am the one who's going to be stepping away. Um, but yeah, but like I said, there will still be videos for me, just my normal videos. I would much rather have um, really good, you know, quality videos instead of rushing through stuff just because I want to get stuff done so I can upload it. Do you know what I mean? So there's that. That's the 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 unpleasant discussion of our little chat, if you will. So let's get on to some fun stuff, if you will. The first thing, excuse me, Audible news. Um, I have some news about Audible that I wanted to share with you guys because I was not aware of this 
until last weekend. And I know a lot of you like audiobooks as much as I love audiobooks. And I definitely wanted to share this with you guys because I just think it's absolutely awesome. I'm just looking on my phone just to bring up, um, to bring up, um, sorry, <laughs> just so I can show you guys what I wanted to show you. So last weekend I was looking through, now this kind of ties into the third thing I want to talk about, but I was looking for um, some books on my TBR to listen to them on audio. So the first thing I always do is I check Audible first thing just to see if it's actually available as an ebook or uh, as an audiobook because there's only been one book I've ever found that my library had that Audible did not have and it wasn't even on CD it was digital um, like for to listen to on the app on my um, on the overdrive app or the Libby app which is what I use um, for the library um, but I always check Audible first because I just like to see if it's even available on audio and then if it's not that I don't bother checking my library but when I went and checked Audible for this book, I went, what's that? And I saw this, this thing. So I hope this shows up to you guys. So let me take the brightness of the screen down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Make it a little bit better. Okay. So there we go. So do you see in the upper corner right there, do you see that R, like that little purple square with the R in it? I saw that and I'm like, what does that mean? So I clicked on the book. It says it's included in the Audible Romance Readers Package, and I'm like, what's this now? So what it is, it's essentially like Kindle Unlimited. And you can listen to as many romance novels that have that little symbol, that little R. You can Any of the ones that show up with that on it, you can listen to Unlimited every month. Um, the cost, if, okay, the cost I think is $14.95 a month. Now this is on the US Audible site. Um, I did not see it on the Canadian Audible site. Um, I didn't look, to be completely honest. It might be there. I didn't even think to check. Um, but anyway, um, it's $14.95 a month, which is the cost of typically one credit on Audible, right? But you get unlimited listening. It's kind of like having a library, but you only get, like, the certain titles that they put in there. And at first I thought, well, how many titles are really going to be in there? Well, all of the Briggerton series by Julia Quinn almost every book by Kristen Higgins, um, a good chunk of books by Jill Shalvis, a lot of Harlequin category romance audiobooks are included on there. And that's just scratching the surface, guys. Like, that's just what I kind of did a little five-minute search for. Um, the one that I listened to, I listened to, I've got one to listen to later, and that one is um, Snow Angel Cove by Ray Ann Thane, which is on my TBR, along with Mary Xmas, which I just finished by Sheila Roberts, was included on there, too. So have a look and see if it's worth your while, if it's worth the money, like worth the investment, essentially. But here's the cool thing. If you already have an Audible membership, which I do, um, and the other thing I want to quickly, quickly mention, I think this might be going to the end of the year. If you are not currently a subscriber to Audible, again, U.S.-based, um, I do have my membership on the U.S. site. Even though they have the Canadian site now, and I think I mentioned this in another video that, you know, it's the same price as the U.S., but in Canadian dollars. Um... I just, I have most of my library on the U.S. site. It's just easier, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they are, they had for Black Friday that you could join for $4.95 a month. So you get one credit a month for $4.95 for three months. So that you save $10 a month for three months. And then after those three months, then it goes up to the $14.95. So just as a side note, if you're interested in checking it out. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, if you already have an Audible membership, or if you have a membership with Kindle Unlimited, you can get this um, Romance Readers package for only $6.95 instead of the $14.95 a month, which is a great deal. And here's the icing on the cake, guys. It's free for the first month. So if you want to go on and check it out and see whether it's something that you would be interested in, definitely go check it out. But you can absolutely go on Audible and just go and start looking through the romance books and seeing if they have, um, you know, stuff that you would be interested in reading um, or listening to. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. Just bear with me just a second here. I should have had this brought up. I do apologize. Um, but the other cool thing that Audible is doing now, um, well, they're having a big site-wide sale for members, for members only right now, 50% off all books. Um, so let me just see here if I can find it. Um, let's try... Let's try a ran random book here. I really should have had this brought up. I do apologize. Um, 
no oh gosh I hate trying to type on a phone like because I type like with one finger <laughs> I can type like an insane amount of words per minute on my computer at um, at work or at home but when I type on my phone it's like one finger typing so they have it on here they don't show it what they do have now and I've seen this um, on audible is when you look at a romance novel if you scroll down to look at like reviews and stuff like that it's got this like purple meter like a temperature meter kind of idea and it's like from sweet to spicy like to see how spicy the book is and when you look at the romance readers package you can search by how spicy the book is um, if you like westerns if you like contemporary if you like historical like there's all kinds of categories so please please go check it out um, if you're interested at all so that is the other thing that I really wanted to quickly talk about and now let's get on to the third thing and the thing that I guess took on a life of its own if you will and that is my December 2017 TBR um, so I did a whole video on the 1st of December telling you guys my December TBR which had I think what did I tell you guys 13 books okay we're gonna do some math here guys all right so I'm gonna need out the trusty calculator because I'm gonna need more than just my ten fingers for this um, so 13 books were originally on my TBR the 10 books that I had on um, my um, my romance readers reading guide reading challenge for the month of December plus an additional three books that I was gonna be reading for the connections challenge so that's 13 we're gonna add to that the eight books and I am literally adding it plus eight <laughs> plus eight on the calculator the books that I'm reading for the 24 days of Christmas hope readathon that I'm doing with Elizabeth from Lizzie Falo's books and a few other people too um, the the Ravelry or the Ravelry group I'm so used to knitting I'm so sorry guys the Goodreads group is like so exciting um, people are on there chatting and I absolutely love it um, so please go check it out if you're interested but add to that that now takes us up to a grand total of 21 books but wait there's more <laughs> I had totally forgotten that I had two novellas that I want to read in December one is um, the darkest crimson which is by Deborah Webb which is point zero zero point five no point five so the prequel book to the series I read the first book in November and I didn't realize that book point five is actually a Christmas book takes place Christmas Eve um, and I want to read that it's a novella so I stuck that on my TBR so we're gonna go plus one um, and then I also remember that I wanted to read um, that I needed to read the final book in the Cupid's coffee shop series which is also a novella so um, I think it's called Christmas joy so let's add another book to my TBR and then um, I was doing up my um, November wrap-up like my quick little November wrap-up that I did last week and as I was posting um, a thankful heart by uh, Melissa McClone I realized that I completely forgot to put um, the third book in the series which is uh, Montana Secret Santa by I think Deborah Solemn I think her name is um, I forgot to put that book on my December TBR so I went ahead and added it because why the heck not so if you're keeping track at home <laughs> we're now up to a grand total of oh let's take that off 24 books 24 books on my TBR oh but wait there's more <laughs> because I'm a sucker for Clinton I'm a glutton for punishment pardon me excuse me I need a sip of my hot chocolate I've been talking so much today that's my problem anywho so the um, there's another group I belong to on Goodreads called um, um, a million more pages and they do a lot of challenges as well and one of the not challenges that they do but they actually have a book a book of the month club and they send you an email at the beginning like you know before the end of the at the tail end of the month before like at the beginning of the month and say there's actually three books every month and you can pick and choose you can read one of the books you can read two of the books or you can read all three of the books the choice is yours so I got this email and I happen to notice that one of the books that they had chosen for book of the month club is one of the one that ones that's on my December TBR which is what light by Jay Asher and I'm like that's pretty awesome the other one was a book by PD James and I'm like mm, no I'm not really interested but the third book is um, Christmas Eve at Friday Harbor by Lisa um, I want to say her name is Kalipas I think is her last name and I have that book on audible like I, I bought it quite a while ago and it's only a four hour long audiobook which in retrospect is a relatively short audiobook 
there if you were to compare it to a book length I think it's between like 150 to 200 pages it's not a long book it's longer than a novella but it's not a full length novel is there something that's in between those I really don't know um, a novelette I don't know um, um, so anyway I thought oh well since I'm already reading one of the books for book of the month club I might as well add the other one to it so let's add another book to my TBR for the month of December <laughs> And then, <laughs> oh guys, this is crazy. Um, I was looking at, now, you guys know I do a lot of challenges. So the one challenge that I was finishing up was the Candyland Quarterly Challenge, and I had three more spots to do. When I do these challenges, I don't sit there and look at all the things and assign books to them. Essentially what I do is, and I think a lot of people do this as well for the um, like 52 books in a year and stuff like that, is that as the year goes on, they try and slot stuff into the spots, and then when they get closer to the end of the year, they um, try and find books to fill some of the missing spots, which is exactly what I was doing. Well, I needed a book that had a colorful cover. And I just, I was looking at my TBR and I'm like, okay, some of them have colorful covers, but not what I would consider to be really colorful. And so I actually Google searched. This is what I do, guys. I'm not kidding. I actually Google searched romance novel, Christmas, colorful cover. And this book came up, and it was um, Merry Xmas, which I've already mentioned, by um, by um, Sheila Roberts. And I thought, oh, it's the second book in the Life at Icicle Falls series. I read the first one, so if I read the second one now for December, I can then move on with the series next year. It, it's, it's a logical chain of events. So <laughs> I added that to my TBR, and I've already read that one, to be honest. And I didn't mind it. I think it was a three-star book. Um, but I listened to that one on audio. So that was great. That's why audiobooks are fantastic. So that now takes us up to 26 books on my December TBR. So then, um, <laughs> I really do have a problem, guys. Um, I'm trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. Um, I have added one more, which brings me up to 27 books, I think. I think I'm at 27. Um, you know what? I need to double check. I might be at 28. I think I'm at 28 books now because then I was looking to now on my phone, you know, I mean, I have an external, um, that's the beauty of the Samsung. This is why I prefer Samsung over Apple any day of the week that I can put, um, a chip card in here to increase the memory storage. So I have a 32 gig card in my phone. My phone's only 16 gig but I've got an extra 32 gig. But still, when I have books um, like on my Kindle app on my phone, I only keep one book on there at a time. Just because I don't want it to get too bogged down, I have a lot of music on here, I'm downloading audiobooks, you know, things like that, right? So anyway, um, I, um, <clears throat> I was searching for the next book I was reading, which was Mistletoe on Main Street. And I did the search and I typed in Mistletoe and what comes up? A book that I own called um, Mistletoe Murder, I think. Um, it's the first book in the Lucy Stone Cozy Mystery series. And I'm like, it's the first book in a series. And it's a Christmas book. I really should read it in December so I can continue on with the series. <laughs> this is my problem, guys. <laughs> so I can continue on with the series next year. Um, so I added that to my TBR. And then the last thing that I added is another novella, and it's on audio. The Mistletoe Murder book is not on audio, unfortunately. I looked everywhere. Um is uh, One Snowy Night by Jill Shaldis. I am currently listening to book number two in the Heartbreaker Bay series, which is Blame It on the Mistletoe by, of course, Jill Shaldis. And I was looking at like the series on, 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 um, on Goodreads because I wanted to see what would be coming early next year, or like the next book to read, because book number four is another Christmas book. So there'll only be one book for me to read during the year next year, and then the next book will come at Christmas time. Um, it's weird how my mind works. I don't know why I can't read Christmas. I can read Christmas books at other times of the year, but it's just not the same. I don't get the same feelings from the book. Does that make sense? Um, but anyway, this is my own weirdness, and I'm absolutely okay with it. <laughs> but anyway, I was looking, and I went, oh my gosh, there's a book 2.5. That book 2.5 is a Christmas book, and it's a novella. And my library had it available. So I grabbed it, and I'll read it as soon as I'm done um, the book I'm listening to. It, the the, um, the 2.5 book, I think, is only three hours long. And I mean, I listen to my books, I think I've told you guys, at 1.75 speed, so I will fly through it in no time. I can probably sit and add a couple squares to my blanket um, in the time it'll take me to absolute, to listen to that audiobook. 
So I think that's up to like, what, what am I at? Like 28 books. I might have forgotten one guys. Honestly, I just might've forgotten one. I think I need to check Google drive. <laughs> I keep all my TBR. I keep everything on the Google drive. I love this thing. I think it's the best thing ever. And if they ever get rid of it, I will be so, so sad because next year I plan on using the heck out of like the spreadsheets and stuff like that for my challenges, because I think that'll be just absolutely fantastic. Um, December TBR. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, that's the other book. No, wait. Oh, the last book. I actually have 29 books on my TBR because the last one is um, a book for um, Sissy over at um, the Romance Queen of Booktube. Her, her Facebook group for um, Harlequin Romance books, um, her monthly theme um, group, I'm reading a book for that as well. So 29 books on my TBR. And the majority of these books, guys, are actually ebooks. Um, I'd say at least a little more than half of them are e are audio or are ebooks. Um, now a couple of them are novellas, so they should be relatively quick and easy to get through um, and stuff like that. But you know, it seems like a lot. Like my best month that I had was um, I think it was August. I read 21 books. So if I finish all 29 of these books this month, I'm looking at finishing at over 200 books for the year, which is insane. Um, this month, for some reason, I just want to read. A lot of nights I get home and I'm too tired. I just pick up a sock to knit on or a square for my blanket or something like that. But lately, over the last like week or so, I've been literally sitting down to read. And it's great. And I've missed it. Um, and I am off for an entire week in December. Um, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, so anyway, guys, like I said, this was just a little chat. Let me know your thoughts below. Am I insane? Probably. <laughs> um, but like I said, three totally random topics, but I still want to sit down and chat with them all, um, with you guys. And I hope you like this video. And, um, like I said, I will be having, um, my normal videos up, um, this week or, you know, coming up. So tomorrow I'm going to be filming my weekly wrap up, which is exciting. And then I just thought I'd let you guys know while I've got you sitting down here. Um, also next week, I'm going to be doing my January 2017 anticipated reads video, which is exciting. And then the other one I'm actually going to be doing is my Harlequin book bundles haul. I talked to you guys about this in another video that I had originally split it into three videos. I'm going to do it in one big video because I'm not doing a video every day. So I'm just kind of condensing them. It will not take me long to get through. Um, I'll try not to make it too long to get through a lot of the books I don't know a lot about, so it's not like I'm going to any deep explanations about them. I just thought I'd share with you the guys that I've, the books that I've added to my TBR. Um, the other things, the other videos that I have coming this month, I'm going to be talking about the new features I've got coming to my channel in 2018. Some of them are very exciting and I'm very much looking forward to it. Um, and the other, another fun video other than my normal ones is going to be a 2018 challenges and reading plans video. So I want to talk to you guys all about the challenges that I plan on doing next year because I'm super excited about them. And there is something very special coming on January 1st. Um, I have been preparing for this video coming January 1st since last year, um, since the beginning of this year, I should say. Um, I will talk more about it, but it is an it is an epic end of the year wrap up, if you will. Um, something that's been in the works for a while. I'll explain more when I actually film that video. Um, but I do have plans on it going up on January the 1st, um, which will actually also be my two year booktube anniversary. Um, it was either the first or second of January is the first video that I put up and that was in 2016. So that's very exciting. I've been doing this for almost two years now. So yeah. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go now because I've rambled on far too long as it is. Um, questions, comments, anything at all, please let me know in the comments below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Until then, take care and happy reading everybody. Bye.